Hello everybody, uh, welcome to uh, the third uh, Head Teacher Update, the final one of this academic year. Uh, I'm going to go through a few key thank yous, a few things about next week, uh, a few things about the summer holidays and a few points for next term. But as always, let's start with thank yous. Thank you to you, our wonderful parents, for all the support you've put into uh, ensuring our students are on time, in school, every day uh, and in correct uniform. Um, just a reminder that all of our uniform expectations are on our website and if you need to buy any items over the summer, it's all the instructions are there for you. Just a reminder, there's only two branded items uh, for Patchwear Uniform, the tie and the jumper, and that's it. You can shop around for any of the other items. Just please, please do make sure that they are compliant with uh, the uniform expectations. Secondly, another thank you. Thank you for your understanding with uh, the necessity to have uh, some year groups out of school over the past uh, week or so. Um, we have been, like many schools, uh, struggling with, with staffing and we've not been able to run our full curriculum. So thank you for your understanding with remote learning. All of that remote learning is set uh, on Google Classroom for, and it's a, it's a full day of, of work. So if you have any issues or problems with accessing that, please, please let us know and we can help you uh, sort that one out. Um, and also massive thanks to you and to our amazing staff and wonderful students for a brilliant curriculum enrichment week that we had. Uh, towards the end of this term and I'll talk to you more about Enrichment Week in a little moment or two for next year. So next week it's going to be another uh, hot few days. Um, please remember students can come in in their full correct PE uniform, not mixing and matching though, with their uh, ordinary school uniform. Please send them in with uh, a refillable uh, water bottle. Uh, we've got water coolers in school and we encourage the students to, to keep hydrated throughout the day. Um, and also, if uh, you can, uh, encourage your uh, children to apply some sun cream before they come to school. Um, and also, we are going to be opening the hall at break and lunch times uh, over the course of uh, next week uh, to provide an indoor space so students can escape the, 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 the worst of the heat during the day. Um, summer holidays. It's worth just mentioning uh, that our results days are always on the, the second, third Thursday of uh, August every year. So the A-level results day is on uh, Thursday the 18th uh, of uh, August and the GCSE results day is the following Thursday 25th uh, of August uh, and results are available for the students to come and collect at 8.30. Uh, if the students aren't collecting them in person, we do need to know from you who has been uh, asked from the family to come in and collect results. Um, staff farewells. As always at this time of year, we, we do say goodbye to uh, staff members who are moving on to uh, other things uh, and some moving on to retiring. Um, so we say farewell to uh, Miss Berra, Miss Cartwright, Miss Corr, uh, Mr Rawlings, uh, Mr. Tuleski, uh, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Hoskins, who's worth noting has done 17 years with us, um, but Mrs. Everett and Mrs. Isles have done 20 years with us. So we wish all of you uh, a fond farewell and thank you for all that you have given Patchway over the years. Um, we will be welcoming, welcoming lots of new members of staff to school, and I'll, and I'll talk you through those in September. So. In terms of next year, in terms of September uh, going forward, just a reminder that the 1st and 2nd of September are staff training days, those are Thursday and Friday. The following Monday, which is uh, Monday the 5th of September, is the first day that students are to come back, but it's just Year 7 students from uh, 8.25 in the morning, and then Year 8, 9, 10 and 11 students uh, we would like to come back as close to, bang on if, if possible, 10.50 a.m. Not much before that um, and not much after that. So within a few minutes, ideally, of 10.50 a.m., ready to start their lessons uh, after break for the start of period three. It means that we, we've got the school with just year seven in it for the first couple of periods to help them settle in. We are introducing later starts, one hour later starts after our parents' evenings next year and open evening again to support uh, staff who are working late the evening before uh, and that's in line with other schools within the Trust. Uh, we will be starting as well a no-notice SLT uh, drop-in surgery every Friday 2.45. You can come in with any issue you want and talk to a member of the senior leadership team uh, and we will pick that issue up with you and, uh, and work together to resolve whatever it is that you bring to us. 
We're also introducing in September our Breakfast Club. Uh, students can come in for breakfast at 8am uh, every day, Monday to Friday, and it will run till 8.20. And students in receipt of free school meals uh, will be provided with a free breakfast, uh, which we would encourage as many students as possible to, to take that offer up. Um, Lots of feedback from, from you guys, from our parents about, you know, it's confusing that we've got all these different apps, Firefly and Class Charts, etc, etc. We're going to rationalise all that to a single system called Arbor, uh, and I will let you know more about that in September. So we've listened to what you've said, and, and we are going to respond to that. We're also going to continue, but have an even bigger push on reading and literacy next term. So one key thing that you can help with is over the summer, please, please encourage your children to read, read anything. As long as they're reading something, uh, reading anything is good. And from the start of next term, from Monday the 5th uh, of September, we would like your children to bring a reading book to school every single day. It will be as much a, as part of the equipment as uh, a pen and pencil. Uh, so reading but every day please. Um, we're also introducing more tutor time uh, for our tutors uh, next year and just a reminder that your child's tutor who they see every single day should be your first point of contact for any issue that you have that you want to raise about uh, your child's behaviour for example or attendance, uniform, anything at all. First port of call your child's uh, tutor please. Now, I'm going to finish on um, Enrichment Week. For next year, we've got a really exciting full week of activities which are scheduled for the week beginning Monday the 26th of June 2023. Um, the reason I'm bringing that up now is because we've, we've booked three very exciting residentials, one in the Mendips, one in Paris, and a water sports trip to Italy. Um, and all the details of that will be shared with you shortly. But in terms of budgeting for that, the sooner we can talk to you about that, we can then you know, support you with setting aside uh, the, the requisite amount of uh, funds to uh, ensure that your child will be able to take part in those wonderful activities. So it's just early warning around um, making sure that you've, you've budgeted carefully for that and we can obviously help support payment throughout the year. So by this time next year, um, it would be a fairly sort of painless way of having uh, your children going on a wonderful uh, trip overseas, Paris, Italy, or to the local trip in the Mendips. Um, and, and that's it from me, uh, other than to say thank you ever so much for all your kindness and support. Uh, have a lovely summer and see you soon. Bye-bye.